really exciting news update and this is around Pragma. Pragma is a brand new members-based organization that has been formed together in conjunction with the Kadana Foundation, Blink Labs, Sunday Swap, TX Pipe and DC Spark. Some of the big OGs and big developers in the Kadana ecosystem coming together to foster open source development in the Kadana ecosystem. Really exciting. Let's get into some of the details here. This show is educational and it's informative. Crypto's the future, really it ain't no debate. So in fostering this open source approach for Cardano, we are seeing a couple of projects that are coming into the fold straight off the bat. Now the very first project to come into the fold is Aiken. And for those that don't know, Aiken is a smart contract language for Cardano, much, much easier than Plutus. A lot of the developers out there have picked it up and started using it as well. So if you are interacting with any of the dApps in the Cardano ecosystem, highly likely they're already using Aiken or are upgrading to it at the moment. So we're going to see a lot more proliferation of Aiken through the ecosystem. And it's really good to see that Aiken is one of the very first projects to be part of this. You can see here from this tweet from Lucas, now that it's announced, I can say that all licenses for Aiken will be transferred over to Pragma. A really exciting step for Aiken itself. It means that its future will be completely decentralized as well with the MBO Pragma controlling what happens with the Aiken code and everything else around it. So we're seeing these different levels of decentralization and open source within the Cardano ecosystem. Now, the second project they've got here is Amaru. And this one's really interesting because it promotes the client node diversity in the Cardano blockchain. And I really, really am a fan of this one. I've interviewed Chris from Blink Labs, who talked about this when he was working on G Ouroboros, a Go implementation of it. And there is a lot of overlap here. And I can see why these projects and these companies are a part of the very first initial members of Pragma as well. But let me just read you this description here. Amaru, an alternative Rust node client for the Cardano blockchain, aimed as an entry point for client applications initially. It aspires to become a full block producing node running side by side the Haskell nodes to future increase decentralization of the platform while fostering its rich open source ecosystem. Now in the Ethereum ecosystem, we do have multiple different client nodes and that promotes that client node diversity. And it's really good to see in the Kadana ecosystem, we don't quite have that yet. There's Amaru is coming into play here now and that there'll be more focused efforts to get this up and running and have an alternative client running side by side their current Haskell one so that node operators can pick and choose what they want to use and have that diversity of that ecosystem there. Really important, really good to see. Now Blink Labs and TX Pipe have been working side by side on a couple of different projects. And I interviewed Chris a while back for his Fund 10 proposal around the Cardano node API. And this is a, an API that will work alongside all the work that the TX Pipe uh, team are doing. So it's good to see that the, all these pieces of the puzzle are falling together. But have a listen to this part of this interview that I did with Chris, where he talks about the client node diversification and the collaboration between Blink Labs and TX Pipe. In fact, uh, on our Cardano node API proposal, we're actually partnering with the TX Pipe team in that we're both implementing a similar uh, API, like in fact, the exact same API. They're writing it in Rust, we're writing it in Go, we're writing and we're cooperating. And the idea is to bring on more languages. Because as we said, it's the ecosystem diversity now that we're really going for, trying to build out all of these various uh, languages so that, you know, you can build implementations of whatever you want, right? So it's not necessarily that we have a specific target because we're building such low level infrastructure. Uh, so, you know, once we've gotten these kind of things written, right, like people can take them and build, you know, whatever they want, liquidation bots by liquid or whatever, instead of having to be written in Haskell, right, someone could write them in Go, someone could write them in, in, in Rust, right, you know, like we're getting to, someone can write them in TypeScript, uh, we're getting to the point where like these things are going to be possible in the ecosystem. So all this previous work from Link Labs with G Ouroboros and then all the work from TX Pipe with Dolos is really exciting to see that it's all come together now with Amaru and we're going to see a lot more client diversity really soon. Now there have been a lot of questions coming out of this as well and one of them is can you contribute to the Pragma ecosystem? 
Yes, of course, they're open source projects. You can contribute wholeheartedly to whatever you can contribute to that uh, particular projects that they've picked up already. So if you want to contribute to Aiken or Amaro, yeah, you can. Go ahead. If you've got the skills, please contribute. Now, can you become an additional member or add in additional projects? Not quite yet. The current founding members are looking at cementing what they have at the moment and, and work out how they're going to organize all this. So in 2025 and beyond, we should see more members or the organization open up for more members after that. Now, there's also been questions about, is this something that is going to compete with existing MBOs such as Intersect? I know not quite because they're focusing on different things. Intersect is looking at governance for Cardano in general and a lot of those aspects there, but this is looking at open source development within the Cardano ecosystem. Now, I think it's really good that the founding members have chosen Rust as the first implementation as a client node. They could have chose uh, Golang as an option as well, but there are so many more developers in the Rust ecosystem that it just makes sense. You should build for the ecosystem where all the developers are and attract them to whatever project you're building. And, and Rust has a massive open source developer community already. Let me just read this statement from the FAQs. First and foremost, because we seek to meet developers where they are, to successfully bootstrap an open source ecosystem, we need enthusiasts and professionals who are comfortable in contributing. Rust is ranked as first most admired technology in Stack Overflow's 2023 developer survey. And it is particularly prevalent in the blockchain industry. Secondly, because Rust is a language ecosystem with solid foundations created by Mozilla, supported through open source governance by RFC, and now supported by the Rust Foundation created by several IT industry leaders. Rust as a platform is a massive performance and easily interoperable with rich ecosystem of tools and libraries. In particular, Rust is well suited for cryptography and has excellent support for cryptographic primitives. Thirdly, Rust has a long history within the Cardano ecosystem, starting with the incentivized testnet, which was powered by Jurgamander. I think that's how you pronounce it. Uh, a Rust node, Rust has remained as one of the largest sub ecosystems on Cardano with projects such as Aiken, Mithril, Aura, Palace, or the Cardano multi-platform library. So really good to see that the ecosystem for Rust is growing, it's developing, and hopefully we do see that Golang implementation of all this as well. So I'm pretty overall really excited about this. It's a really good move from these teams to come together, form this brand new MBO and promote open source within the Cardano ecosystem. What do you guys think? Let me know in the comments down below. I think this overall is a really, really bullish signal for the development and developers in the Cardano ecosystem. If you think the same, please give me that thumbs up, hit that like button, hit subscribe, click on that notification bell and I'll see you in the next video. Yeah, yeah, gotta do it like that. You've been listening to the Learn Cardano podcast.